Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Alvarez has had this experience so many times and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. The hitman's making his way to the ring right now, and he's doing so with a very business-like approach to things. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. What's the best punch for a tall puncher against a shorter puncher? Well, it's got to be the jab because the jab is the measuring stick. It makes sure that the taller man keeps that advantage. Make sure that the shorter man stays where he belongs. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. <laughs> Parries that punch intended for the head. Two good jabs by the hitman. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Alvarez. Tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Nice block by the hitman. Finish with the hook. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. They both decide to bring it. What a bulldozing uppercut. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy, what a break he just caught. The bell rings at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know, and you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to dry a little bit. You got to wait for your guy to wake up. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. Don't fight his fights. Gap and move. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and, and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see more defense. The hitman's legs are just... He had no idea that hook was coming. It got to him bad. Alvarez is hurt by... Oh! How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment.
Alvarez is going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. A clean, crisp right hand by the hitman. Good flush shot upstairs. Keep doing what you're doing. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. The hitman's defense is paying off now. Halfway through round number two. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. with that headshot. <laughs> Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Just 10 seconds. Alvarez is damaged by a left hand. Bad shape here. He's stunned and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway. And you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. You need to cover up. Leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. Well, this is a sport of profession where hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion, we hope, but it's attached to his jab, it's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab, he has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope he'll be okay the next round. Nice solid left hand scored by Alvarez. He just missed that shot up top. Good right hand by Alvarez. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Alvarez is on the heels of that knockdown he suffered, and right now, he's in the arms of his opponent. He's just looking to clinch. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's looking to clinch. He's looking to clutch. He's looking to hug the guy. You know, he's looking to make sure that he's still here when this bell rings. Let it go! Now he ties up there. That's a razor-sharp uppercut. Ricardo Alvarez is... Keep working this jab. Good, good. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. And this round comes to an end. And keep boxing. You're doing great. You're making it hard for him to hit you. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. You need to capitalize on his mistakes, okay? I want to see that counter hook.
It'll be interesting to see how this plays out as we start round number four. Alvarez is up two rounds to one, but keep in mind, they've already traded knockdowns. Yeah, and his opponent knows that. He knows he can hurt him, and there's always hope. There's always incentive to get after him. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. And here he goes again with the clinching. The hitman scoring with that right hand. Keep working the jet. Alvarez is left now getting into the mix. And he engages in the clinch. The hitman's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Well upstairs with the right hand. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. So the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find out why he got stunned. What did he get hit with? Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. There you go. The hitman's bounce is back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. <laughs> Alvarez's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. There you go! Right to the body. Scores well with a straight right. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Blocked by Alvarez. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Not able to land the uppercut. I like the way he looked at the end of that round. It looks like he's gaining some momentum here. Good competitive fight. And I do believe that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. You don't need that. I'll throw that away.
keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. Watch the water in the corner. Too much. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Good clean shot. Returning fire. Well done by Alvarez. That's it. Just like that. Right hand over the top. Very accurate with it. Alvarez is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Come on, Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a head full of bulk shot. Halfway through round six. Seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now, is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily. And for a minute, he let up, and bang. Clinch him. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch that he needed very badly. Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. We got it. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. It's over. He's tired. He's got nothing left. So as the bell sounds, we put to bed the first half of this fight, and we are underway with a new round. The hitman's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Alvarez's blocking ability is doing well for him there. He's tired. Solid straight right hand. At the halfway point of round seven. And he just holds on there. Right hand. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Not able to land the headshot. Finish with the hook. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And the round comes to an end. 
Done! I want you to double up that jab and finish off with the hook, okay? One, one, two. You're looking good. And keep it up. Keep those... Okay, listen. I want to see that straight right. Throw the jab and then straight down the middle. You got that? Jab, jab, right. Listen, you're not working. You're not working. You're not working on anything you worked on. Start of round eight. Teddy's got it a close fight. Alvarez is enjoying a slight lead, but he has to sharpen up that defense. His opponent has been finding a way to land. Yeah, I'll be more specific, Joe. He's got to keep his backside off those ropes. That's where he's paying a price. Nice block by the hitman. The hitman's flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricycle all over the place, but you can step a little bit. Get out of range. He's doing nothing. The halfway point of round number eight. Alvarez is well off the mark that time. Work the body kid. Body shot, left hand. Jab, jab. Comes across with a hook up top. A big, big body shot. What a nice counter that was. Off the target by the hitman. He is stuck. Oh, that's got to hurt. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three, four, five, so he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. Alvarez is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed, you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Use the jab. Back to the body. Let it go. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Alvarez. Halfway through the ninth round. He's hot. He's tired. The hit. Stunned, and he is hurt. 
Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't what? doing what? real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. End of the round, around, end of the round, around, I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he I, up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. Keep moving, keep the hands moving, and you'll beat him to the punch. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than what it is. Focus for me. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? The hitman's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. Alvarez is really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you wanna walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Precision work with the left hand by Alvarez. Blocks that belt line well. Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. And round 10 comes to an end. Okay. Use your speed. Double up on your punches. I want. More counters, okay? Slip his punch, it. then throw it straight right down the middle. Uh, nice. Keep there, it up. Think. This guy's never felt you don't need that. No, throw that away. Eleventh round has arrived. Teddy, this is exactly the kind of fight I like to broadcast. Dead even on your scorecards through 10. The hitman's, though, in position where now every little thing counts. These are the moments where the separation gets you the win. This is where you simply make up your mind, I'm not being denied. I've come too far to give in now. Too far not to win it. Alvarez is out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Teddy? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him, but he's not gonna show you. He's gonna act like a pro, he's gonna con you. He's gonna act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. 
Halfway through this round here. Big shot, the left crashed home. He is stunned, but somehow manages to have the wherewithal to hold on. And now he scores with that left to the body. Fine-looking right hand by Alvarez. <laughs> Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Yeah. Scores up top with a left. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was. And whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. Keep busy. They have given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. Good block there by Alvarez. Oh, what an uppercut. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. Alvarez is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. You're not focusing. All right, here we go. Last 60 seconds of the fight. Relax, relax. The hitman's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. That was a highly competitive back and forth bout. Now let's hear which way it went. This was a sure and steady effort by the hitman tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be knockout or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.